Hello all, Vercel is one such deployment platform which is being in news since a while. It's in news for the facilities it's, uh, it provides us and it's absolutely free of cost. And it has large support for different frameworks libraries to be deployed with it. Okay. Hello all, I am Mithun and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will be showing you how can you deploy your HTML and CSS static sites to Vercel. We'll be exploring what Vercel is, we'll be going to their webpage and finally deploying our sites. And what pipeline are we going to follow? This is the pipeline which we are going to follow. Okay, so this is the third video of the deployment series where I am showing you how to deploy your applications on Vercel. Previously, I have shown you how to deploy your HTML and CSS sites on GitHub pages, which is the direct way where you stay within GitHub and deploy. Next, we came out of GitHub and saw how to deploy on Netlify. And today, we'll be seeing how to deploy your applications on Versa. Okay? The, the workflow is as follows. The first, we'll be writing some HTML CSS code. We'll be testing the web page, connecting it to Git. Then, we'll be connecting Git to different platforms. Netlify is also done. Today, Versa and it gives us some URL and this URL will redirect to the web page. Okay, this is the complete flow. Okay, so without any further delay, let's start the deployment with Vercel. To deploy on any platform, what's the first step? You must visit that site. Okay, so let's go. Uh, by the way, this is the web page we deployed on Netlify, which took 12 seconds. And next, this is the web page deployed on GitHub pages, which took 50 seconds. If it has an extension of github.io, that means it's deployed on github pages if it has netlify.app then it is deployed on netlify now let's explore versal just go to versal okay so let me go to versal.com first okay versal.com so this is the home page of versal.com which tells develop preview ship ship means shipping your code from your system to the web okay and you can deploy and these are the companies or uh, the front-end teams basically because there is a framework which is uh, built and maintained by Vercel too. You can learn more about Vercel and Vercel is trending a lot these days. Okay. And so these are some of the web pages workers with 30 plus frameworks. Okay. We'll be seeing one such framework too in the next lecture. Okay. And this is the site. Okay. Do visit their web page too and click on sign up and create an account in order to deploy okay you can select whatever you want if you are on industrial use case also you can select hobby or else if you have an extensive work then go to pro if you want to utilize a lot more of their features so this is the uh, dashboard okay i have deployed multiple sites here so no need to worry you when you uh, once you know that you will be using Vercel for a lot of time okay and these are the integrations activity domains okay now what i'll be doing is that i'll be clicking on add new I will be adding new project okay so here if you see that it actually exports based on time the most recent repository will be on the top see this deployment of HTML CSS click on import yes by the way you must even connect this to github when you are uh, logged uh, logging in for the first time okay project name I'll be telling the same okay you can give custom names also this is one facility available in Vercel and just click on deploy that's it okay wait for some time it deploys see this deployment has started it builds runs the checks and assigns you a domain okay see this this is lot more instantaneous okay and see this wonderful interface as soon as you deploy okay and once you click on this your web page is ready to go and see this the format would be the project name dot dot app okay only netlify gives you random names okay uh, apart from that you can customize that versal is the best and if you're someone who is confused which platform to choose, go for Vercel. Okay. It has a lot more facilities, cool interface and everything is fast here. Okay. So let me go to the dashboard. I want the time taken. I will go to deployments and see this three seconds. It took just three seconds to make, uh, to deploy our web page. Okay. So that's the power of Vercel. And yeah. I think you have now got a clear understanding on how to deploy your static web pages built on HTML and CSS onto three platforms, GitHub pages, Netlify and Vercel. Okay. In the next video, I will be adding Tailwind CSS 
and I'll be deploying all uh, at all three platforms at once. Okay, because I don't want to have a separate video for Vercel, Netlify, GitHub Pages because I have demonstrated using HTML, CSS, right? And Tailwind is not a big deal in that. Okay, so yeah. Okay, that's it for today's lecture. I hope you had a great time watching this video, understanding how the deployment works and exploring Vercel. So do subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. Comment if you want any other frameworks, libraries, deployment should be demonstrated, which would be with higher, uh, more efficient ways and free of cost. Okay, so I hope you had a great time watching this video and I will be catching you up in the next one. Thank you.